Hi everyone. Welcome back to the uh, Classic Mini Survival Guide. I want to start today's episode with a very important, and I think probably the most important lesson, and that is about fuel and ethanol and ethanol related damage to these engines. Now, when these engines were new, they didn't have ethanol in the fuel, so they didn't have to design the parts to withstand the ethanol damage. And with today's fuel having ethanol in it, it's becoming a serious problem. I find that fuel pumps don't last nearly as long as they should. The diaphragms become damaged. I also find that in carburetors, you'll have um, white powdery corrosion in the floats, in the fuel you know, reservoirs. You also see uh, the needles will become damaged. Uh, the brass parts will become damaged. So it's a serious problem that affects us all. And there is an easy solution. Drive your car all the time. Um, if you can't drive your car all the time, then you have to do something about the fuel. Either you have to drain it completely out of the car for you know any extended period of storage, or you can use one of these two products in front of me. Now, I am not getting sponsored by um, Stabil. These are just products I've used and um, other people use to protect their cars. But they make it in two different flavors. One is a put it in every fuel fill up. This is a 360 protection. Um, doesn't take much. This entire bottle does 160 gallons, so it's it's a small quantity you're adding to the fuel. This one here is for long extended storage. Um, I believe this one's good for up to two years worth of uh, of storage. So if you got a tank of gas sitting in your garage, you should have this in it because this will keep it fresh for whenever you need to use it. But I cannot stress this enough. If you have a classic car, it doesn't have to be mini. It can be any classic car, the carburetor. You must do something about protecting the uh, the fuel parts with um, either you know this product or any any honestly any product that says it protects against ethanol damage is is great. But you need to make sure that you are running something to protect the fuel from eating the parts. Like I said, until we get different parts made of different materials designed to survive ethanol. Um, we're going to have this problem, and it's a, it's a serious problem because it can affect uh, carburation tuning within six to eight weeks. It'll slowly start chewing away at the needle. So, yeah, it's, it's a serious problem, and um, like I said, right now, our only solution is just treat the fuel or drive the car a lot so that the fuel doesn't start separating. Because the biggest problem is that the water separates from the fuel, and then it allows corrosion to start building up in places like the gas tank and, and things like that. So... Um, this is the today's most important tip for the Classic Mini Survival Guide, and that is treat your fuel. If you guys thought that was helpful or interesting, let me know in the comments below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.